What's up guys, this is Vishu from Geek Starts. So in the last video we configured our configuration file of PostgreSQL and in this video we are going to add the users and we are also going to like create a super user, assign passwords to them, create a database. So let's go ahead first let me name this so class fish. So let's go ahead copy the public DNS. Let me open my party session and once you are in there what you can do is if you remember if you don't remember how to go into postgres you do sudo su minus and then you do su minus postgres and once you are in here there's a way to check if your database is running and that's user bin pg underscore ctl which stands for postgres control i think so so you do a status minus d data so you need to understand one thing that we installed the postgres sql server and we created a database that is mounted on slash data there can be other databases on this server we are only using one which is on slash data but you can also create one one or more databases using the same server so i'm going to start this and once the server has started what we are going to do is create the two users that we specified in the configuration files which were John and Doe. So what I am going to do now is run a command which is user bin create user and then you put the name of the user. So in the earlier versions of Postgres the shell used to ask you if this user is a super user but that doesn't like happen anymore. So we will have to create one super user which is the administrator which has access to all the tables and can modify all the users and the second one is a normal user. So John is going to be our uh, privileged user like the super user who can manipulate things and the second one is Doe. So once you are done with this we have two users so if I try to create the user again it would say that John already exists. So we know that the users have been created. So what we will do now is first let me clear the screen with control L and then we are going to drop into the Postgres SQL shell. So this is the bash shell and we are going to create a, we are going to run some SQL commands. So we will need an SQL shell. So the SQL shell will con connect to the Postgres server and run SQL commands. So what I'm going to do is slash slash usr bin psql minus p like the port number and postgres runs on a port 5432. So once you do this you will know that you are in the postgres shell where you can execute sql command. So when you do help you will see all the commands. So now we need to create we need to alter the user. So what I'm going to do is me type it okay alter user john with equal user i don't think it matters like the okay so now john is our super user and uh do is like the normal user so once you're done with this you can do create database do db with owner do so in this case john can create database john can delete the users modify the users alter the passwords of users and because he is the super user but when it comes to do he can only work with his db which is do db so once you do this you know that the database has been created because you don't see any errors and now we have a postgres sql server running which has a slash uh, database mounted on slash data and inside that slash data we are going to create another database which is do db with owner do so do can do a lot of things only on his database so if some suppose my do db database gets compromised it's the only database that is going to be affected because of that the we are not going to compromise the whole system or the whole server so we have created a database with just one normal user who is the owner of that database and john is the user who is a super user who has 
writes to manipulate other like change commands as in change the password delete the users modify the users and stuff like that so in the next video we have we are done with the postgres part in the next video we are going to work with glassfish sql no with glassfish uh, java and then we'll just launch an application connecting these two i'll see you in the next video